But hello everybody, and welcome back <laughs> to Dungeons and Dragons the Second Age. It's been yeah, a long I... time, how are we all doing? I'm still knocked out for eight hours, yay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, IRL. yes you are. <laughs> yeah, IRL. IRL. Yeah. IRL, yeah. As, as we discussed <laughs> previous to this, this is going to be our first uh, real-time episode, so um, hello and goodbye, Luca. <laughs> I'll right. see myself out. Speaking of which, does anybody want to remind me of what happened last time? I do not remember. <laughs> Wait, no, I do remember. Um, we, uh, we finished. Well, no, we didn't finish. We picked up from the the banshee fight. Yes. And then we went inside the little fort thing, and we met this painting dude. Yes. His name I've forgotten. Whose name you've forgotten? That's good because uh, uh, Milson, no. yes. Yes. <laughs> um. And he was like, "Oh, I'm, I, like whoever fuck and trap like trapped me into this painting, and he wanted us to do some things. And we went to do those things in like a house thing, and then we had to split up. Look, it's been a while." <laughs> <laughs> We had to split up, and there was a lot of despair checks going on, and not all of them were succeeded. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, even I had my had to make my first sort of despair effect thing. Um, we went through this entire house, which was fun. Um, and there was also this girl called Alice, which we heard about, which might be like some evil demon thing. Who knows? Bit boring. Eventually we got into like the final room and we all sort of like chillaxed because we had gone through this entire home, you know, checking traps and everything. And then we were just sort of like, nice, we can get the treasure, just get the fuck out of here. And that's when there were like a million mimics. Yeah. Yep. And yep. Turns out the final room was full of traps, like everything else. <laughs> Shut up, Rob. Please. When you go through the entire house checking everything in existence for traps and only find like four traps. You start to get a bit doubtful. Oops. What do you mean only four out. traps? Arya nearly got smushed by a ceiling. Yeah. I did. That I happened. was in there as well. I know, but I... Oh yeah, I guess. I was like stones getting the ceiling off like a boss. That's true. I don't know, for some I reason did. I just thought Arya was in more danger than you were. But whatever. Uh, I definitely was because I was taller. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does crouching <laughs> not exist in this world? <laughs> so Anyway, there were a lot of traps. And then there were a bunch of mimics, and we failed that fight so massively because I went down. Not and then, avid. well, I, I, well, I got down to zero hit points, and then Arya had to make a despair check, and she failed it, and then she just passed out. Yep. And yeah, you were stuck to a mimic constantly, so you couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything except and counters. Lyra dragged Polaris was, thing I did. Polaris was constantly stuck to a mimic. Yep. Until somebody killed the mimic that was stuck to me. And then essentially we decided to just get the fuck out of that room. Uh, Everything, everything's dead apart from a giant statue. Yes, apart from the giant statue which you managed to suppress for long enough to not have to worry <clears throat> about it. Until it comes back and fucks us later. Yeah. Uh, well, it is. it literally reanimated like as you were leaving, so... So it's coming now. <laughs> no, I don't think it'll leave the room. Please, no, I have nothing left. Um, well, do you want to start the session then by giving me some perception checks? Um, yay. Oh boy. <laughs> Off to a great nice. start. I feel like that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> okay. Guys, please. I can't find my music track. I've rolled two. Oh, here we are. Also, can I just say the end of my notes from last time it just says screams quietly in panic, so... <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Why are you screaming like, quietly? Like, if anything, ah. is screaming like this, screaming loudly, it's this. Uh, yeah, but yes, as, uh, as you retreat back towards the 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 lobby of the the keep uh you make it past the the threshold that leads into the treasure room 
and you hear the the footfalls of the the statue approaching the gateway as you um or approaching the threshold rather as you retreat um but you hear it go no further so you su- you suspect that it remains inside the the treasure room uh, as you retreat Well, that's good to know. So. <clears throat> what do you do? I feel like we should retreat to the others. Yeah. 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 Have a rest. Okay. So uh, I won't bother dragging you back down to the the second floor. I'll instead bring the others to you. That didn't work for some reason. Uh, well, if you want to move back into the the lobby hall, I will get the others and bring them to you very briefly. But yes, uh, as you uh, retreat and head back into the the lobby, uh, you are greeted by the concerned looking faces of the rest of your companions as you come out battered and bloody, uh, carrying an unconscious Arya. Do you guys know where you are on the map, or are you just, like, stuck? Yeah. No, I know where I am. I do. Yeah. Guess I'll drag you through myself, then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yes, you you see the faces of your companions, they see you come back, And they look very concerned when you look all uh, battered and beaten. Uh, You left behind Illuran, Smyrny, and Lasatus, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Which of you is on the lowest hit points? It looks Uh, like that's Kalaris. Uh, (laughs) I don't know how many V has. I have have 11. Well, uh, one of you, uh, which of you looks the most wounded? Probably Kalaris. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I, think I, w- I did go down at some point, but Kalaris already healed, so... Yeah, yeah. but you've, you've got a lot of heal already. Because you went down, and then up, and then down, and then up, <laughs> up and then down, down and, and then back up. See, <laughs> you going down yeah. was the thing that caused me to fail that despair check. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Lysatis is seeing that uh, Kalaris seems to be carrying the most wounds. Uh, Lysatis is going to come up to you, Kalaris, and cast Cure Wounds on you uh, at first level, because that's all she can do at the moment. Uh, So you can regain 11 health uh, before turning her attention to whoever is carrying the unconscious eye, or I think it's Vondal. I think it was Lyra. (laughs) <laughs> Lyra was uh, dragging my body L- Lyra was dragging her to start with, but didn't somebody pick her up at the end, I think? I think it was Vondal. Alright. Um, either way, uh, she's the unconscious Aya is laid down in the hallway and uh, Lysatis begins to look her over. Uh, and she sort of, in the process of looking her over, she looks at all of you uh, with an imploring look and just says, what happened? Suffice to say, we were potentially overconfident and ignorant 
of potential threats. She turns to the others, expecting a plainer explanation. <laughs> We got careless, is what it comes down to, and um, we still have to go back to fight a very unhappy statue, and um, we're not sure- we're not sure- do we know that Arya probably, um, like, what happened, or did she literally just fall unconscious? Uh, she- she fell unconscious, none of you know why. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even see it happen. That's a fair point. Yeah. And well, Arya was fell unconscious at one point. Not from being hit, as far as we know, but yeah. there was a lot going on. Okay. Uh Lissata sort of like checks her over and says, uh I have no idea what's wrong with her. I uh I can't find any signs of injury or or trauma and, and if it's some sort of magical effect I don't think I've ever seen it before. Can I check over Arya? Yeah, sure. Give me a medicine check. Okay, that is more than enough. Uh, to your... Uh, to the basics of your examination, uh, you deduce that Arya is un indeed unconscious. Um, it doesn't. Again, you come to the same conclusion that that Lysatis comes comes to. There's no, uh, there's no signs of like physical trauma. There's no evidence of like any sort of magical uh, effect that's causing her to be unconscious. But as you as you examine her, you notice something strange, uh, and that is. Underneath her eyelids, her eyes are flicking around rapidly that you recognize as what we would know as REM sleep. Uh, which is essentially when you're dreaming. Right. Um... So yeah, as far as you can tell, she is unconscious and basically seems to be dreaming. Um, you don't know of any way to wake her. Other than to basically wait out the effects. Right, I guess I sort of say that's to the party. I think that was the spell check was a Christmas save, wasn't it? Christmas save, yes. Yeah. yeah. For roleplay reasons, I think it's probably appropriate that one not make one. You want to make one, okay? <laughs> sure. For roleplay reasons, immersion. Yeah. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> one dollar mill. Okay, Huzzah! cool. Have, Why the fuck would you do this? Have person? have a despair. For the story. Um, I'm now on two. Uh, I'm now on two. Oh, you're now on two. Okay, so I need to roll 1d100 for you. Please don't get also whatever the fuck I got. Uh, he, well, he he can also go unconscious, but he can't get the same, quite the same effect. Uh, you're going okay. I'm coming over to England and slapping you. <laughs> uh, Vondal seems to just sort of like, uh, uh, he's like looking at his hands, uh, and an any attempt to like communicate with him or interact with him seems to garner no response. Uh, the character retreats into his or her mind and becomes paralyzed for five minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the effect uh, the effect ends if you take any damage. Um, but you yeah you are essentially paralyzed with shock. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. accurate. Uh, v, I I told you a lie, actually. You do know that uh, the only way to wake her, potentially, is to use the spell of Lesser Restoration. Right. Um, 
Uh, but the the state that she is in is essentially harmless, so the difference between curing it and waiting it out is do you want to use a spell slot, or can you use a spell slot? Sure, what to do at this point, considering we're in no fighting condition really anymore. Well, you suspect that whatever nightmare grips Aya, you'll have the night to think about it, so you could try and get some rest. Yeah, yeah I feel like we could do with some rest at the moment, as much as I hate to rest here. Yep. There's no better place. Time to go sleep in a creepy house. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. Does anybody want to do anything, particularly before you think about going to sleep? Uh, no. Uh, in that case, um, uh, I think it it it's probably about about an hour or so of like um, uh, Elran and Simone sort of like uh come over and like sort of see if all of you are sort of all right, um. Uh, Lasata sort of like does some mundane bandaging of people's wounds and things. Uh, Zale sort of like um, Zale's sort of like very out of breath after the whole combat, uh, and he sort of sits there and uh, catches his breath and seems to be deep in thought for for a long time. Uh, but uh, after probably about like 15 20 minutes of you guys sort of catching your breath tending your wounds etc um wait are we doing a short rest or a long rest well you can do either but i'm saying okay. 15 to 20 minutes after you guys start resting uh uh zale stands up and uh comes over and sort of tries to gather you all around to talk to you those of you who are conscious. In fact, he probably does it over the unconscious Arya, but I won't hear it. Um, uh, but yeah, he basically says to you, um, uh, so it seems the effects of the uh, of this plane on our psyche is more uh, well, potentially more dangerous than I had factored for. You think? <laughs> sure, sure, unconscious. Exactly. You're unconscious. Um, <laughs> the disembodied voice of not Arya, but Luca. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he says uh, it's potentially more dangerous than I thought. Um, uh, and he, like, he pulls like a, a thing of his of his notes out of his uh, out of his backpack uh, and says. Um, I have done some research into uh, what we can do to sort of bolster our resolve, so to speak. <clears throat> um, uh, and I, I guess I'll, I'll read this to you in game mechanics terms, but he explains this to you in sort of more of a, a, a way of these effect, these things these types of magic will have uh, an effect of lowering your um, stress levels, effectively. Uh, but he tells you that um, uh, the Calm Emotion spell can be used to suppress the effects of any uh, short-term despair that you get. Uh, the lesser, res lesser Restoration spell can rid you of a short or long-term 
despair effect. Uh, but it does not. Uh, it doesn't reduce your points. It just removes the negative consequence that you get. Um, uh, he sus. <clears throat> excuse me. He dis he suspects that the spell the spell dispel evil uh, may have some effect on uh, the longer term madness, but he's not quite sure uh, what the effects will be. Um, and he says, if it gets uh, if it gets really bad, the only thing he knows that can cure uh, severe despair is the greater restoration spell, or perhaps some more powerful magic. Um, uh, yeah, he he also basically goes on to explain that. Um, uh, anything that you can do to like uh, relieve stress or remove yourself from the environment may help to um, uh, lessen the effects of um, uh, like lessen the effects of the actual death. So, for example, if you can travel to a different plane or uh, spirit walk or any of those sort of abilities that allow you to even if temporarily go to a different plane uh, those may help you mediate the effects of despair on yourself uh, so I don't actually know if any of you have access to calm emotions lesser restoration etc I think um, some of you I do. I can do lesser restor wait, lesser restoration if I prep it. Okay. Yeah, I can do both of those if I prep it. Okay. Uh, do either of you have dispel evil? No. Don't think so, because I think dispel evil is. Uh... Not, not dispel. It's a fifth level spell. It's fifth level, so no, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> and you definitely don't have greater restoration. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I can uh, take somebody to the crossroads with me. <laughs> uh, you can, yes. <laughs> so if we get re if it gets real bad, uh, how long can you remain there for? That's the question. Um, I think it's until I finish asking the questions. Oh yeah, because it's it's a it's a concentration thing. So I think it's I think it's a minute. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably not. Uh, I don't know if I've written that down, but I think it's I think the spell it's based on is a minute. Oh, all right. Um, if things get really really bad, I can send someone home. <laughs> so I can Just banish them from this plane back home. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you could you could in a in a in a desperate situation send someone wow. home. Wow. Yeah. Where where is home though? Would home be As like back it, your home plane? So actually, so go you you would go <laughs> yeah you would technically go to the Feywild, yes. Bye. Uh, yeah. If I could banish, so, so that means I could use banishment on Arya while we're in the material plane and send Arya back to the Feywild. <laughs> go. But yeah, so technically, I could, since none of us are native to this plane, I can banish any of us just home. Except myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't banish yourself, which is yeah. uh, a thing. <laughs> and then, as long as I keep concentration on the spell for a minute, you stay home. If the spell ends before a minute, then you come back. Yeah. Oh. But in theory, I can send someone home. Uh, so, yes. Uh, yeah, Dale imparts that information to you. Um, uh, he says uh, he also says um, I did do some some research into more mundane cures if you're interested, but I uh, I'm not I'm not like super confident in any of their um, their methods. Uh, but if you ask him about it, then he can sort of like uh, suggest ways that you might lower. Uh, your despair. 
He's probably well. just like, all I want is some sunlight. <laughs> yes. It's getting fucking dark. And Eloan's leaves are like... Yeah, oh, no. and any of you who are sort of observing V do notice that she is starting to droop a little oh, no. in terms of sunlight deficiency. I'm getting SAD, guys. <laughs> Shadow fell effectiveness disorder. Yep. <laughs> also known as sad. Yes. I guess we continue resting. Cool. Uh, yeah, in that case... Um, I guess we're having a long rest. Yeah, you guys can take a long rest, which means I need you to make me a despair check. Everyone huddle up with Claris. <laughs> yep, everybody get close. <laughs> Even me, Rob? Uh, no, because you're technically not conscious. Yeah, you're not resting, you're unconscious. Uh, um, I'm only technically not conscious. Yeah. <laughs> not oh yeah, you unconscious. you also don't get the benefit of a long rest, so... Oh, that's what the fuck? Because you're unconscious. Because you're, you're, yeah, you, it's not voluntary. Look, at least you're not, you know, getting another despair. Which is the last yeah. thing you need right now. Oh yeah. Basically everybody's Sweet returned. spell slots. Hugging Kalaris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's <laughs> hugging Mama Kalaris over here. Cut off those big beefy dragon arms. Yeah. Well, you're probably more likely all huddled around the lantern. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a terribly high check. That is not a high check, no. Did you get a plus two? So. Yeah, uh, I believe that is enough to fail, though. Let me double check. <laughs> uh, I love how it's not even enough to pass anymore. Now it's enough to fail. <laughs> it's He's low enough to fail, yes. Um. 14 is low enough? God dang it. Uh, That's why I'm gonna fail every fucking one of these. Th My charisma is shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna dice for this, cause... <laughs> gonna dice it. Yeah, okay, so... You are... you suffer no ill effects this time. Okay. Do I lose my charisma bonus? For my AC? Uh... Yes, and I believe we agreed previously that you need to take another yeah, check for, do another for doing that. Oh, <laughs> it's because it's because we ran out of spell slots, so I can't accept. I couldn't ask. I couldn't ask for the altars to cast daylight. I didn't have spell slots to cast daylight. I know. Yeah, oh, yeah God, that's yes. that's definitely a fail. So one despair. On You're on three. Yeah. Don't get to five. Bad things happen at five. Yeah. <laughs> Take it from someone who knows. Shut up. <laughs> You're unconscious. <laughs> Me and V have a spirit link, though. <laughs> I don't think you can use a spirit link while unconscious. Uh, no, you can't. It's. I'm thinking. I think it specifically states in the spirit link as well that you can't. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> affect you while unconscious. Yeah, there you go. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Get wrecked, are you? Get wrecked. I'm already wrecked. <laughs> you are wrecked, yes. Riggedy, riggedy wrecked. Uh, so... Oh, and I should roll for the other characters as well. Wow, good job, Zell. <laughs> wow, well, good job, Zell. <laughs> Lissatus passes as usual. Uh, Smoney passes for once. Her charisma isn't even that good, is it? Hell around, fuck that up. Um, yeah, oh, but she rolled why? a 19. Lissatus is just rolling good. Uh, Lissatus <laughs> has... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lissatus has Charisma 10. She's just, she's she's yeah. only failed one, she just keeps rolling really high. What the fuck, Lissatus? Give me her luck. Yeah. That is literally her lowest stat, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that is her I lowest it. stat. I was like, Lissatus is not charismatic at all, but... No. <laughs> uh, so, Simone passes, Illoran does not pass. Oh, that's two despair on Illoran. Uh, Ooh. so, oh, actually, mm. uh, no. Okay, so I, I need to roll the 1d100, but then he's immediately not affected by it again because he loses it. Oh, right, because his, his wife is there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I just need to see if it affects him in any way. 
Uh... Wow, he literally- he goes blind from stress while he's meditating. <laughs> <laughs> so it he's literally does. Eyes it basically does nothing. <laughs> he does blind. Um, <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, so oh, now he goes down to work. two. Um. Yeah. So th that was that was basically a useless roll because it did nothing because he was already meditating. Right. Um. So yes, uh, the two of them pass. Uh, Zale does not pass, which actually I think puts Zale on. Th Three or four? Oh god, it puts him on four, okay. Oh, oh, Sam! Oh, Sam! Uh, 54. I think we're gonna die. Take your own advice, dude. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, we might not make it. We're gonna die here. Gonna die. Oh wow, okay. That's interesting. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, so, uh, uh, about halfway through your rest, I'd like all of you to give me a give me a perception check with disadvantage because you all sleep. Decent. Okay. Uh, v, your rest is disturbed by uh, Zale essentially getting up from where it is that he is sleeping, and he begins to wander towards... How many of you are there that are sleeping? One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> um, so actually, that's perfect. I'll roll a d6. Oh, uh, okay, um, he starts walking towards Vondal. Uh, he also seems to be muttering under his breath. Hmm. I guess he's just sort of gonna go, uh, is everything okay, Zale? Uh, he does not react. Uh, uh, give me an insight check. Oh boy. Okay. Right. He... He appears to be... Like, he's got his face, like, screwed up in concentration. But he also looks like he's, like... Uh... Afraid of something? Uh, and as you notice this, you see him like fu uh, like as he's walking towards uh, Vondal, he stumbles, becomes more frightened, and fumbles for a weapon and draws his weapon. Dude, okay, I guess I <laughs> like jump up and I guess I sort of like I grab his arm or something, like and I go like, oh. Um, okay. Uh, do you want to make me a? Athletics check as if you were doing a grapple, and he will contest it with disadvantage. Boy, because my athletics um, is amazing. Well, you should see his athletics. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, okay. Uh, oops, I don't know why I rolled that twice. Because that's a nine. Um, yeah, got a minus. Uh, so actually, yeah, uh, he does. Uh, you don't quite manage to restrain his arm, but technically, that does make you the closest character to him. So, uh, he swings the sword at you. No. Oh what? shit, and I have 11 armor class. Uh, he hits you. Ow. For 4 piercing damage. Uh, was I still on 11 hit points? Uh, yes, because you haven't rested yet. Ow, so that's. You haven't I'm finished your rest. Nine. Uh, no, sorry, I'm now on 7. I can't count. Uh, okay. Uh, I'd like everyone else to make me a perception check as. V probably yells. Ow! Fucking oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are fucking shit. Okay. <laughs> like... Shut up, Aya. You're unconscious. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hang on. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Bill just stabs me in like my recovering wound, and I'm yeah. just like, does Lyra get a perception check? Uh, Lyra can make a perception check. Yes. Uh, she can actually make it with this uh, with advantage because it's hearing. Good. Good. Th good thing for advantage, guys. Okay. So, uh, as you yell out, um, the uh, both Illaran and Lyra stir. Uh, from their rest. Actually, technically... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll 1d4 for this. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, so Illaran and, uh, Lyra stir from this. Uh, I'm... I'm not gonna, like, roll this into initiative, because I, I expect this is gonna be over in about three seconds, but what do you want to do? Because uh, this is essentially like the top of an an initiative round against the unconscious Zale. I don't really know. Can I just shape water into his face? <laughs> uh, I guess if you have water in your flask on you. I would assume I do. Yeah. I should really be making you guys roll to like track how much water you have left, because it actually yeah, so hasn't. It, it, it's actually it, not that. Uh, it's actually not yeah. that plentiful around here. I mean, Vondal can make food and water. Yeah. But he has to do. A, he has to spend a spell slot to do that. I do. So I'm gonna say, if you're gonna do this, it's gonna be the end of your water in your canteen. Okay. Yeah, as if, you know, we don't have enough things to keep track of in this house. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, the despair checks alone. <laughs> okay. This is evil. So, uh, you don't have to make a roll for the shape water, do you? No, not really. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll, uh, I'm gonna roll him a saving throw against this, because it's not technically damage. Uh... Wow, great job. You literally have proficiency in that. Proficiency in that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so you splash him in the face and he flinches and he sort of like waves the sword around wildly. Um, who technically has the higher initiative out of Lyra and Eloran? I think it's Lyra. Uh, no, I tell a lie, it's Eloran because Eloran has 18 decks. Damn. Um, Eloran is going to see what's just happened and he is going to run across and attempt to disarm uh, Zale. Uh, that's pretty good. That's a 14. Uh, again. This is where Zale rolls like a fucking 20. Against a 9. Okay, so uh, Elrond runs up, uh, snatches the sword from Zale. Uh, I guess he'll get a saving throw again. Uh. uh that, I guess, is enough to pass. So, um... Uh... You, uh, Elrond grabs the sword out of Zale's hand, like, uh... pushes Zale away from you. And, uh... Zale wakes up, but he... Um... Uh, the, the, the act of, like, waking him up, um... like, seems to, like, disorient him for a moment. Uh, and he is, I guess, like, stunned. So he's sort of, um, uh, his, his response is to sort of, like, hold his head and sort of just go, Wh What? Uh, to which Eleran sort of is just like, uh, what the hell just happened? I don't know. <laughs> um Give me a give me a medicine check. So don't we have to make the spell check if we see someone else this succumbing to the uh, thing? you will do in a minute. Oh boy, do I have to make three in a row? That's fucking garbage. You yeah, you might have to make three in a row. <laughs> we, we are gonna die here because this despair is so brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To yeah. Make We're check. just gonna die. I'd like you to make a medicine check, yeah. Which is dead. Okay. Um, from from the way Zale cannot focus, he's hallucinating. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess I just sort of turn to Illyrana and I'm just sort of like, I think he's hallucinating or something. Uh, does Illyrana actually have anything he could do here? He uh, tried to attack Fondal, and I failed to disarm him, so he turned to me. Uh, no, he does not. Um... Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> I guess Elrond would make a medicine check for this? Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, that's a good question. I need to... <laughs> I'm I'm now <laughs> Rob is just asking himself questions. I am asking myself Oh wait no because you you've got uh you've got a herbalism kit on you, haven't you, V? Yep. Um I don't know the name of the herb off the top of my head, but Illoran would, because he is a ranger. Uh he asks you if you have a particular herb in your uh pouch. Uh I guess make me a nature check to see if you do? God, do not fail this V. I'd say that's good enough. This this is not uncommon. Um Uh you say you say that you do, I presume you pull it out and give it to him. Yeah. Uh Elran grabs the herb, sticks it in his mouth, chews it, spits it back into his hand, and then sh 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 yep. with with his thumb sticks it into the back of Zale's mouth. <laughs> Uh, and basically, like, clamps his jaw shut and makes him swallow. Sanitary. Uh, at which point... Yeah, very sanitary. Um, at which point, uh, after about probably less than a minute, Zale's eyes begin to come back into focus. Uh, at which point... I guess he makes... Uh, okay, yeah. Um, uh, he... He comes back to, to, to lucidity uh, before promptly gagging about three times uh, and <laughs> sort of resp uh, looking up and saying, uh, what the hell just happened? Um, to which point Illoran says, you were hallucinating. And he's like, well, I guess that goes to prove what I said earlier. <laughs> Elrond turns to, to UV and says, are you alright? <laughs> I think you hit one of my older wounds. Like, he, he's, he's like, he's like, he cut you. Yeah. At which point Zale is, like, Zale goes very, very pale and he just goes, I am so sorry. It's okay. Okay. Unless you want to say anything else, that th this situation awkwardly diffuses and you all go back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> like, let's, let's, let's just forget it happened and go back to sleep. Okay. So, yeah, now you can finish your, your long rests. Uh, and everyone goes back to full health and slot use. Yay. Guys, I'm not at reduced health anymore. It's been forever. Hooray! Oh, God, I remember. Reduced okay. max HP. It's fun. Do I have to make that charisma check now? Oh yes, shit. Yeah, you and Elrond need to make a, a charisma check. Oh God. Okay, that negatively affects Elrond. Elrond. Uh, but he. Oh no, that puts him up to two actually. So. Oh no, he has to make another one. Actually, no, no, because he's already made one for two in the last 24 hours, so oh. he doesn't have to make one. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm Gucci. You're okay. You're Gucci? Yeah. I'm Please. Gucci. Why? Yeah, because I forget, you don't, you're not affected by the same stage of uh, despair in 24 hours. Because otherwise it would, like, loop infinitely. Yeah, you, could, you would be, like, bouncing between one and two the whole time. Yeah. 
So he goes back to two, but it has no additional effect on him. Um, Good. All right. Uh, okay, so everybody awakes the next day, and by everybody, I mean everybody. Hey. So, hey -o. So, Aya, your last memory is uh, feeling like V's consciousness falter through your. Well, actually, give me, give me an intelligence check to see if you actually make the same deduction that you know. I mean, we felt this last mm. time, so yeah, okay. there we go. So and we're never gonna worry about this. <laughs> so you the last thing you remember is My is screen. is V collapsing, and you can picture it vividly in your mind. Huh, that's but weird. there's no way in hell you could see it because you were facing the other way. Huh. How queer! <laughs> I don't know. Why this keeps happening? Uh, oh, and then you, God. all you remember is the floor rising rapidly to greet you, and that's it. I imagine Arya probably wakes up in a little bit of a panic because holy shit. Yeah. Also, you ache. <laughs> yeah, I bet I hurt all over. Probably like a headache. Smashed your face into a solid floor, probably. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Well, and, it, and it's the thing where you, like, you know when you fall asleep, but you sleep for too long? Yeah. It's that feeling as well. It's, like, really groggy. Yeah. You yeah, feel like you, shit. You slept, for two, you slept for four hours longer than you should. I well, did. Well, you also slept. Yeah, that's also the thing. I don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, you slept. Oh, my God. So, really, I really did sleep for way longer than I should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you actually <laughs> slept at all. Yeah, literally the last time you slept was the last time the Wraith Glass um, yeah, took me gave over. you a nightmare. Swag. So. Okay. So I wake up and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's like scrambling around. As you wake, probably, actually, the Satus is probably, like, tending to your minor wounds. Thanks, Lasatos. Uh, I guess I grab his arm and I'm like, what happened? Where's V? I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. Are you, are, you <laughs> are you okay? Yes? Where are we? What happened? We're still in the key. You, you kind of passed out. I didn't see what happened. But... Yeah, you kind of just spontaneously passed out. Yeah. How- what? At exactly the uh, same time V did. Yeah, V, are you okay? You went down. Yeah. Yeah, the mimic hurt a lot. And it got a little unbearable and I think I lost consciousness. Then I got- I think Lars helped me, or someone did, but then it-, it I- lost it again, so I, I don't know. It was a blur yeah. for me, too. Yeah. Th there's only the statue left in that room. Hmm. Okay, well, that is very odd. I don't really remember... I only remember you falling, V, and then I lost consciousness. I don't remember anything else about it. This realm is... Just Unplug. loves to mess with us, doesn't it? I think that's kind of what it's known for. I think at this point in the the lull in conversation, uh, 
Simone probably comes up and says, So, with that in mind, what's the plan? Oh, that's a good question. Well, we know our enemy is a statue. So, well, we can't really harm it by normal means. At least not easily. So, we need to think of some way to overcome it. I know I can... Paralyze it? I guess would be the way to phrase it. But in terms of actually harming it, that I don't know. Uh, deactivate might be a good word, because yeah. It, yeah, it is very much deactivating it. Yeah, for a bit. Does anyone else have any ideas? Oh, I, I just can, hit stuff. I can break stone pretty efficiently. No, I was gonna say. I mean, we have to go in and take care of that. Yeah. As you say that, you remember why you went there in the first place. Uh, and you notice that the painting in the hallway where Melson had been previously, he's no longer the, in his painting. He appears to have yeah, exactly. left and gone somewhere else. Clearly he set us up. <laughs> Hmm. Can we try and call to call for him? How do we want to? Uh, you can if you want to. Can I try? Yeah, definitely. What do you do? Just you just walk up to the pi painting and say his name. Yeah. Okay. Uh. As uh, as you say, uh, as you call for for Melson, um, you notice uh, rather than him stepping into the frame like he did uh, previously, when you when he was moving freely between the paintings, um, uh, almost like a, a swirl of colour seems to appear in the painting. It seems to almost be drawn out from the frame, and Milson's figure is like is uh, recreated in the frame. And as you look, he seems to be in like agonising pain as this happens. Um, and after a few moments, like it sort of he he reforms and he's standing there, and he seems to sort of like almost be like breathing heavily if he breathed um uh and he sort of he, he looks at like blinks once or twice looks at you and says uh, you called sir yeah i was gonna say it's weird you weren't here has something happened uh, no sir i was merely elsewhere and where would that be in my quarters, sir. Why do you see? Why do you? Why are you so out of breath? He sort of looks at you sidelong and says, um, When Sir calls, I am obliged to attend as quickly as possible. The Master made sure of that. Why didn't you warn us about the monsters in that room? Uh... 
he turn, turns to you and sort of says, um, If the master had allowed me to, then I certainly would have. It's a convenient answer. When you are bound to a painting, you are subservient to certain rules. I must attend when I am told. I must say only what I am instructed to say. Hmm. It is fortunate for me that the Master did not forbid me for telling you about the secret chamber in the first place. He did not deem it necessary. He did not deem it that anyone would ever find it. I can only assume by my continued presence here that you were not successful. Yeah, that's the thing. What was it he was asking us to look for? Uh, a jeweled bit... skull. Because I remember it yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. Well, we didn't open any of the not mimic chests, right? Wait, there no, were any that weren't. Yeah. Perhaps then we don't need to fight the statue at all. Are you I mean, the statue doesn't contain doesn't contain what we need. So perhaps no. I simply disable it, we quit, and we rubbish through the chests for a minute and leave. We could try I feel like it, it won't be that easy. <laughs> but... Well, if that plan doesn't work, worst case scenario, once we leave, we have to go back in and fight the statue. Best case scenario, we don't have to fight the statue. Yeah. We can destroy whatever whatever this skull is. But then again, we didn't see the lever either. No. no Which didn't. makes me think that it's either behind the statue or something. You know, if a minute will be long enough for us to search the room as thoroughly as we need, assuming that what we need isn't in either of the chests or any of the chests in there. So I guess a pile of rubble is what's required. Yep. It'd probably be best. Though nothing is stopping you from deactivating the statue while we hit it. Oh yeah, I don't for like sure. It. Definitely doing that. I guess then what we need is just magic, presumably. We need to blast it as hard as we can. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Yeah. Give me some arcana checks, all of you, to see what you can recall about the creature. Hmm. Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Okay. Uh, Bondol, seeing as you were the only person who got a good look at the statue, um, you suspect that uh, due to its nature, it's very, very hardy in terms of um, uh, sort of taking damage from. Uh, elemental magic or sort of like uh, mundane weaponry. 
Uh, uh, in well, actually, uh, in in game terms, it's actually it's resistant to cold and fire and immune to lightning and poison. Uh, and actually, it's not it's not resistant to mundane weapons in the conventional sense. It just has a very high armor class. Mm. Um, so you suspect that with enough brute force, you could take it to pieces, or with the right spells. Okay. Uh, but yes, it is also you recall that yes, um, uh, it is possible to. Temporarily disable it with dispel magic if you can create a magic field strong enough. Uh, if you can't, then it will continue to sort of resist it. Yeah. Uh, you recall I also, I like think blue. that it it crackled with electricity when you when it like came to life. Um, but I think that I think that was everything. Because I think last time I blew 4th level on it and that meant it was just paralyzed? Or disabled like immediately? Uh, no, you got a save against it last oh. time. It always gets a save. Okay. Because it was just a harder save than if I'd just done the... What is it? Hang on. Uh, it should tell you in the spell description. Um, but yes, you feel that it, you would be more than a match for this construct uh, um, now that it's not an ambush. Yeah. Um, oh, I should so fix just... everyone's health as well. Mm, it's dependent on the spell I'm dispelling. What do you mean? So it's, it's, it's dependent. So if it's, on the if it's a third or lower spell, I'm I'm dispelling. It's instantly dispelled. Uh, but you're not dispelling it's... a spell. You're uh, okay. it's making it against your spell save DC. Okay, so then in that case, it wouldn't matter what. Okay. Spell I used. Yeah, you work that out then. Okay. You're 19. I guess I'll explain everything else, so people can like rule out spells or rule in uh -huh. spells. Yeah, so Vondar relays all of the information that he received to you, so you can know what you can and can't do. Uh, though the your allies who were not in the fight with you previously, so everybody except Zit, asks you sort of like what the battlefield terrain is like, um, and whether or not you would you could use their assistance. Um, the only the only thing with that is uh, Simone and Illoran both tell you that they are both incredibly ill-suited to this kind of fighting because they are both incredibly reliant on ranged weapons, etc. What's the thing? I was saying bring the same team, but like add Lasatus just for the extra magic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> seeing as you basically have the option to bring whoever you want uh, what I will tell you is the more people you bring, the less AXP distribution you'll gain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but we want to survive first. Yes. Yeah, so, right. But we're not here for the XP. We're here for the We're here to live. We're here <laughs> to save the world. We're not here to advance ourselves. <laughs> Jeez, what are I want to make it characters? out of this plane alive. Yeah. You can worry about XP later. <laughs> <laughs> I can worry about XP. Never, because there are always more important things. Okay. So if more people is going to help us save our asses, sure, yeah. fucking bring them along. Okay. Yeah. Not bring them here to we, can, we can keep we can keep Ilaran and Simone here, because yeah, they don't have very good uh, attacks against it. We're here to beat an evil bastard, not level up. This isn't yeah. a conventional RPG. Well, it is, but you don't know. Yeah, that. it really is, but we're we not don't play that way. <laughs> yeah. So we we know that, but our characters. Don't. You're bringing Lasatus and Zale along. Yep. Yeah. 
You turn to Lasatus, who seems slightly more full of life than previously. And invite her to join you. She's now in colour. Oh, oh right. Oh, sure, yeah. I actually remembered to upload the the thing. Huzzah! No, I noticed you did it like while we were talking. Then so much is back and white in the next bloop colour. Bam. She's a Isn't fully she realised character. She's still she's still in black and white on the bio, but that's fine. Yeah. Well, I, it would require more fiddling. I could do that during the break. Anywho, let's go murder let's a statue. Okay. Hooray. So, uh, Hooray. you move to the room. Room 101. No. No! What's wrong with that? Was, that was a very strong no. <laughs> Stack up. Oh, right, we have to move ourselves. Blue? Yes, Luca. Shut <laughs> yes, up. Luca. I was unconscious the last time I moved. I didn't have to move. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be unconscious again, then... No, I don't. Yeah, we can always knock you out. Please don't. That's not. If everyone stack up. Oh, it's so much harder. Like, all you guys don't know my struggles. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> I was always like, I could use Shatter against it, which would probably be pretty effective. But Shatter to... is like... Shut up, bro. <laughs> It's okay, well, if, we, if we tank it right, if, then uh, you well, can hit it without getting us in it. I mean, we yeah. can hit it with Shatter Before while we we're still in. away. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll just do a fourth level Shatter. Yeah, well, yeah what, what we'll do is, what we'll do is do right, so we'll all crowd into the room, and then you'll just Shatter it, and then we'll move in. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Well, like, yeah. you'll like, or like, I'll open up by just, like, Paralyzing it. it. And then Hopefully. you can Shatter, and then we can all run in. Like yeah. a boss. Yeah. Okay. Strategy. Yeah. Strategy. Good. <laughs> which basically means if, which basically means if we roll shit initiative, we're all gonna be holding action until we shatter. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's fine. Huzzah. Oh, that's another thing. I recently I double checked rules. You technically can't hold your action without declaring it. You have to declare what you're going to do if you're gonna hold. I think hold. we were playing by those rules anyway. Uh, I I fumbled around the edges at some points, but yeah. Okay. Just as a reminder, you actually have to declare what it is that you're going to do before so you hold. With the, with the plan here. Yep. Sounds good. Okay, so, uh, who's going through the door first? I guess I am, because I have to do the thing well, first. I've got to deactivate it first. Uh, and also I'm uncomfortable about you being the one in front, so I'll beat you to it. Alright. Yeah. So. Vondal uh, is going through the door first. Uh, okay, so stack up as you are, as you would be stepping through the door. So I'm stepping oh. through the door. Yeah. Aria's on a table. Oh. It's a bed, actually. But... <laughs> I didn't know that was Sorry. Bed. Okay, oh, Aria's on the bed. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't seem like your thing. I'm the one with a fucking love interest in this campaign. I, I didn't realize so... that. I didn't realize that Gingerhead Woodolf was here. He's not a will. No, no. But um No, I don't I'll... mean I don't mean okay. him. What? He he's the one I have a romantic relationship with. with. I mean the one else who flirted with you. Look, I don't that is look. Clearly, clearly Alwyn would be the person if that was happening, it'd be he's happening. Dead. <laughs> but he's dead. So fucking doesn't matter. Anyway, let's carry yeah, on. Yeah, I was too much. Woodhouse. Right. Whatever. Would you like to all roll initiative? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and watch as I get a one. I believe in initiative. You. Oh my god. Hey oh. Oh that. sweet. The Fuck. belief was real, thanks. <laughs> Come on. No. I gave you my initiative. You go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh god, really. Fine. Oh god. And plus a sale. Okay. Sort. Okay. 
Uh, so, Vondal, would you like to decide how much movement you want to move into the room? Because some stuff is going to happen before the initiative order resumes normally. Okay. So I guess I just sort of can move. Okay. Okay, so basically, as you step over the threshold and essentially make it to about he there, uh, you will still move the whole distance. Um, uh, what happens is, uh, the statue seems to have been waiting for your return, uh, as I've broken my thingy, okay, uh, I might have to refresh roll 20 in a second because I don't actually think I can get to the dice page now. Um, uh, yeah, as basically two two bolts of electricity arc from the statue's hands towards you as you run into the room. Huzzah! Uh, Where the zippies at? Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't actually get to the the rolling page. So I'm gonna actually have to refresh and reopen the character sheets. Uh, oh, oh, roll twenty. Rip. Rip. How could you do this to us? I think it's actually Google Chrome's fault, but. We oh, won't go there. Good How could you do this to us? God damn it, Chrome. Fuck we trusted you. you. <sighs> we trusted you as the web browser used by 76% of online users. God damn it. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's stop I mean, that. I don't know about you guys, but I love my Safari browser. <laughs> That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag not Nobody loves Safari. <laughs> I, I for one love Not even Safari loves Safari. I for one. I mean, look. Opera. The oh god, opera. Um, I mean, Apple all, every year does their fucking stupid thing where they put the the like Apple Showcase or whatever exclusively on Safari, and it's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's a good way to make sure the majority uh, of web users actually use your content. Put well, it it's on it's ironic because people who don't own Macs can't. Use Safari. <laughs> oh, like what? Uh, oh, Vondal, does a seventeen hit you? Uh, no. No. Okay. So, uh, despite the fact that it seems to uh home in on your metal armor, the two bolts launch from the statue's hands. Uh, well, actually, it's it's not even really from the hands. It's more from the braces that it's wearing. Um. Uh, yeah, they they leap towards you, uh, but you deftly sort of like duck under them, and they smash into the wall. Uh, and we begin from the initiative order. Go go gadget! Oh yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna hold my action until V does her thing. Well, do you, want to, do you want to move first and then hold the oh, action? Because otherwise I'll you won't be able to see anything. In. Yeah, you have to move then hold action. I'll move in. Um, and I will shoot the thing when it comes alive. Or when B does her shatter. Okay. V. Boom. Boom. Uh, shatter has a range of 60 beats. Should it be long enough? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. This is really five. Well, the, the lightning bolts were 60 and they were in range, so... Alright. Yeah, this room isn't even 60 feet long. Get ready for this fourth level shatter, boys. It's almost as if I made a very small room for you guys to fight in so that you'd have to be careful with your abilities. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Ooh. nice. And Boom. it gets disadvantage on the constitution save. Uh, cause it's, yeah, it's, uh, made of stone. Yeah, fuck you, stone. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. That's still not a very high-level cast, is it? Or, like, uh, a high-level roll. It's not bad, though. It's yeah. 5d8, Galaris! Look! Uh, oh, it that's... It's thunder damage, not lightning damage, so, okay. No, yes. yes. Uh, so it's, it is not, uh, immune to it. Uh, oh constitution God. saving throw. <laughs> oh wow, okay, it failed the constitution saving throw. Yeah! It does have disadvantage. Despite having a plus three, uh, it fails the constitution. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because the disadvantage it definitely fails. Um, uh -huh. uh, cool, so it takes. 
six. Uh, Solid 21 damage. Uh, no, it takes double, doesn't it? Because of... Uh, I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Quick, open chat. Or is it, is it yeah, just... I've already... Uh, a, cre a creature made of inorganic mat materials such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the saving throw. That's all it says. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. So it does take 21 damage. Okay. 21. Boom. Okay, so you you create this cacophonous like uh, blast of of uh, sound and energy in front of this uh, statue, um, and it it seems to sort of like be. It brings like the shield that it's holding up, and it seems to like brace itself against the impact. But like, sort of the cracks run along the shield and start to like run up the arm, and the creature is sort of like, um, I say the creature. It's not really a creature. The construct uh, is uh, hit with this like wave of energy, and it seems to deal uh, particularly effective damage. Uh, Zale's turn. Uh, well, is not Arya going to shoot now? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Do you want to take your shot while Zael moves? Zael is going to come stand next to you, I think. <laughs> nice. Stormlight. Oh, you have your, um, you've got your special use back as well. Oh. Hmm. You're a magical girl. You can be a magical, yeah, a magical girl, girl again. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if this is... Uh, that better. does hit, so... Uh... Uh, your arrow seems to like uh, it brings the shield up to uh, again to protect it. Right, keeps the shield up to protect itself from the arrow, um, but the arrow seems to like splinter a section of the shield out. Um, give me a, I guess a perception check. Okay, <laughs> never mind then. Who knows? Uh, Zale is going to run up next to you, and he is going to... Uh, what did you say to him? Yes, you did say that. Um, it hit it very hard with magic that isn't lightning uh, or poison. Yeah, well, you, you also told him it wasn't, it was resistant to frost, so he can't use his cantrip. Not cold, not fire, not lightning. Um, this is kind of hard for him, because the only spells that he has that are not any of those things is his one third level damage spell. God, if only we still had um, that wand. Yeah. He blew that up saving your life. He did. Um, in that case, I think he is just going to... That was more aimed at us generally for messing up that whole encounter to the point where we had to be saved by the wand of magic missile. I think he's yeah he's gonna wait with his turn. Uh, yeah he's I think yeah he's gonna hold his action in case it uh, if it attempts to close on you guys he is going to cast because uh, I think I don't know if he can actually cast that he can cast that at this range. Um, oh he could actually cast that as well actually so yeah no I take that back he's going to move to no. Yeah, there. He's going to move to there, and he's going to hold his action, and if the... Uh... Yeah, if the creature moves within range of him, he will attack it with his sword. Vondal. Okay. Um... I'm going to move forward a tiny bit. And then Dispel Magic! Okay, you cast Dispel Magic. It makes a con save. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Uh, what? What is your spell save DC? Um, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. So it fails. So um. Again, like the the statue weathers these blasts before, like it, and then it, it lowers the shield as you approach and starts to begin to ward, move towards you, and then you dispel the magic, uh, and it is uh, disabled for one minute or ten rounds of combat. So you've got ten rounds to absolutely wail on. Cool. That. Yeah, you've got ten rounds. So beat the shit out of it, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'm sure Lyra's Lyra. gonna have a ton of fun. I mean, Lyra can just like wait 
or now. Yeah. <laughs> so. Get on the bed, Lyra. Have a nap. Yep, right. she's just gonna crawl yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, have a nice nap. No crazy people with swords trying to attack her teammates. <laughs> no, now it's just a statue with lightning. Yeah. Yep. Um, Way more manageable. Oh shit, I totally forgot to get the things for the Sustus' wild shit again. Um, so the Sustus is gonna like... The Sustus is gonna dash, I think, because she can. I think that's... <laughs> No fear. No uh, fear. That's 15, 25, 30, yeah, and then, yeah, that's another 30. And then, yeah, pass, because she can't, she can't actually wild shape this turn, because wild shape is a full action for her. Statue does nothing, and she's not, yeah, she, she, she knows the statue is disabled, because she knows that was the strategy, so that's why she's rushing in. Uh, exactly. Kalaris. Uh, I'm also going to do the same thing and get in there. I can't see yeah. the fucking statue, so... <laughs> One Everyone. second, because I couldn't see where it was. Get in here! It's still yeah. where it was last fight. Yeah, yeah it's on the circle. I'm just making sure. I'm going to just... Yeah. Guess if I... No, we don't really have any melee fighters, so fuck it. I'll just stand here. Yeah. Everyone. Stand there and look pretty. Hiya. Uh... Hey. <laughs> Flex the muscles. How are you doing for arrows, Aya? I mean to ask. Uh, twenty left. Twenty left. Yeah. Yeah. When I get my hours, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Anyway. Pew. Uh, that is not enough to damage it. Fuck. Clink. These arrows, they do nothing. They do nothing. The. Uh, well, since it's getting crowded there, we're gonna go back to the old magic missile. Okay. Nice. Somehow rolling almost as high as my fucking portal shatter. Yeah. Not salty. Not at all. Uh. 17. Okay, yep. Yeah. Deals solid damage. Blast some chunks out of the statue. Uh. Zale, uh, Zale is going to hold his spells because, again, like the only thing he has that is useful is a third level spell that, yeah, is not very great because it will splash allies. Um, Vondal. Um, well, I've got two things that can damage it. Uh, I'm trying to decide which one to use. Um, you know, I might as well, because I can just move to here and Spirit Guardians, because it's just, because I don't want to use anything that has attack rolls, and most of my things have attack rolls. Okay. So I'm just going to use Spirit Guardians instead. Because if I stand there, it gets hit by the 15 feet. Okay. Ta-da! Ooh, that's a good roll. Okay, that is. Uh... Oh, yeah. Technically, has disadvantage on this save. It's disabled. Can it even save at all? Uh, yes. Oh, lovely. Uh, you rolled a two. <laughs> uh, it takes seventeen damage. As the you summon your uh your cherubs, and they swoop down with their little little swords. They have swords, didn't they? I think they had yeah. swords. Yeah. Little swords. Uh, Lyra. Every time we question the appearance of those things, boop. Because I can never remember what I said. Uh, She's just gonna run up here. Yeehaw! (laughs) She can't run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't find the monster that I want. A satyrs to transform into. Uh, I guess I yeah I could use that one. I guess uh, she would have seen one of these before. Uh, okay, the satyrs is gone. A wild shape. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> uh. uh who doesn't like a bit of wild shape? Hell yeah. Uh, boom. 
No oh, shit, son. It's gonna turn into oh, a giant shit. spider. What the fuck? Holy giant fuck. spider. Uh, that is fucking terrifying. That is actually terrifying. Not as terrifying as mimics. Uh, one of those. Know, one of those was the thing that uh, attacked V, if you remember. Yeah, I. I was gonna say. I think V has like a. Has like a permanent trauma. Um. Oh, no. So yeah, the giant spider is going to. Uh, Do some damage. Hey, hit. Um, the statue is unfortunately immune to the poison damage because I rolled really high on the poison damage. Um, but it still takes a decent amount of piercing damage, more than Lasatus could deal normally. At least it doesn't heal from poison. Nope. <laughs> Why would a statue heal from poison? I don't know. Weird shit, man. Weird shit. Only only a hundred percent resistance, not more than a hundred percent. I know. Shenanigans. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. The statue again does nothing. It's turn two. Uh, Kalaris. I'm I'm just gonna take one step down here. And I'm gonna start hitting it. Hopefully, maybe. Okay. Uh, freedom. Hit. I'll smack, I'll smack it not so good. <laughs> I'll smack it not so good. One on damage. Smack it less good. Now we'll do again. That's uh, a hit. The statue's just stood there going, hit me, baby, one more time. Okay, you are you get, uh, quite uh, hand. For... Oh, yeah, you shit, no, you for... you should. Oh. So, that's an extra one okay, damage. Well. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, solid one. <laughs> Solid that's damage. 20. That's 20 instead of 19. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The statue is beginning to crumble. Oh, yeah. Wail on it harder. Phew. Tank and spank, boys. That's not enough. <laughs> Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Clink. Tank and spank. V. <laughs> Tank and spank. I'm saying that. Well, so you're not tanking because it's not hitting you. <laughs> no, it's no, it, okay, CC and spank, there you go. Okay. Uh, nice! We summon one last barrage of magic missiles, and you shatter the statue. Oh, yeah. Uh, the evil has been defeated. The evil has been defeated. As you do so, uh, basically the last few... You aim these last few bolts at the head, and the head of the statue explodes, and something glittering flickers... Uh, f uh, like is sent spinning through the air and lands behind the statue's podium. Then I think that's the disabler for the security system. No, but it might or be something a skull. to do with that. Oh, it might be a skull. Oh, no, that'd be good, it? Quick, see what it was, Kolaris. You're, you're nearby. Oh, look at it. <laughs> you look at it. What was it? Uh, it is a gold-plated, gemstone-encrusted skull. Oh. Oh my God, gold-plated. Jeez, that's so excessive. <laughs> <laughs> really excessive. Uh, as you pick it up, give me an arcana check. Oh, I really thought you were going to say something else for a second. I was like, please, no. Give me a saving throw. <laughs> no, I was so scared. <laughs> no, that's that's okay. my arcana. Uh, what do you do is you say at that point, I didn't want to pick it up. Why am I suddenly picking it up? And except she explicitly it. said she was picking it up to look at it. Yeah. Did she? Yes. Yeah, she did. Uh, a skull hums with inner source. No. Um, no. It does. It does. It does hum with a power that you are not familiar with. Sweet. Is it source? It's not source. <laughs> Stop making divinity references. Oh. No! Stop it. Um. Um. I guess. A giant okay. spider looms over you and goes. <laughs> God. I am only a little terrified. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, it's fine. Are, they, are these chests definitely not mimics? You should probably. You have check no them. idea. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the giant spider transforms back into the satus because, because. No point being a giant spider anymore. He's Just probably afraid the story and have out. like a million fucking eyes all of a sudden.
Yeah, I'll probably oh. be like, so the skull. Uh, yeah, the setter says, is, is, is that what we're looking for? I guess it is. I guess. It's, uh, definitely jeweled. Yeah. It's the other thing that fits the description. It does fit the description. That would be the way to turn off the security, which apparently is also in here. Mm -hmm. So I guess we start looking around. Okay, yep. uh, give me investigation checks as you look around. Ah oh, uh, yes, boy. investigation. Our best skill. Yeah! Best skill. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> Fan God, the bloody tastic. Really. God, if only there was a really short person with us who's actually really yeah. good at intelligent stuff. Okay. Like uh, v and Aya, how strong are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have strength then. Okay. I have strength plus two, or fifteen. You have fifteen yeah. strength. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you guys look around the room, uh, are you opening the chests or not? Can we open it with like hang on. a crowbar or like a stick so that we don't have to touch it? Yeah, hang it? on. Can I yeah, like poke the chests with my crossbow to tell if they're sticky or not? Uh, you poke the chests; they appear to be normal chests. Hooray! Ah. Oh. Sweet. Open the chest. Surprise! Okay. It off your arm. <laughs> uh, makes it sticky. Let me roll the chest trap that you didn't look for. No kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, what you find uh, on the wall behind you, Aya, there are two uh, two paintings of uh, I think it's I think I said last time it is a human man and a elven woman. Um, when actually, strictly, that is not technically true. Uh, one of them, at, like, at first glance, one of them appears to be a human man, and the other appears to be an elven woman. The human man, however, as you look at the painting, you realise that he has uh, completely black eyes. Oh! Mm. Well. Uh, however, these paintings are very exquisitely painted and are probably worth a lot of money. Hell yeah. Uh, so you Do can take like those with you. Very yep. Do we want to take haunted paintings with us? I mean, yeah, the, you destroyed the haunted paintings. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, also, that also <laughs> Helena, this isn't divinity. We don't cart the whole painting. We open the frame, <laughs> roll the painting up, and then put the painting in the backpack. <sighs> we don't carry the frame. How much are they worth? Uh, rough estimation about 200 to 250 gold each. Oh Sophie. my god. We're gonna be loaded. I still feel really weird about, about taking things from the Shadowfell back to the material. Oh, I don't care. Point. They're taking enough of my sanity. I can take that <laughs> painting. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. I mean, the, the, paintings, the paintings coming from the Shadowfell aren't, like, innately evil in any way. They're still just paintings. They are paintings that quite clearly cost a lot of money to have made and are worth a lot of money, especially because they are old. Uh, the other thing you find are uh, on the remains of the statue, uh, you find a pair of... Uh, like Basically, the, the statue was equipped with like a, a pair of braces that were around like the statue's wrist um but as you remove them there's another set of like stone braces underneath it that are part of the statue uh and as you handle these braces you can feel that they are like the the way the leather moves they are slightly magical uh you can arcana them to try and find out what it does uh inside the chests you find uh, assorted gems worth roughly 500 gold. And in coin, you find roughly 1,700 gold. What? Wow. What in the world? How can we even carry this shit? Guys, we're so fucking rich. We're so you rich. are going to have to split it amongst you guys to be able to carry all of it. A lot of it is in platinum, but a lot of it is also like just in like piles of gold coins. 
shit, dude. Also, guys. Uh, the other thing that you find is a small wooden wand. Oh. Is it a mm. wand of magic missile? It is not <laughs> a wand of magic missile. <laughs> well, what are these braces? Uh, what are the braces? Uh, you identify them as braces of archery. Oh. oh shit. If you wear them, you automatically gain proficiency in both long and short bows, and can add plus two to your ranged attack rolls. Oh shit. Shit. Plus two braces of archery. I guess that goes to Arya. I was going to say, actually, um, three, three archers for this? in the party. Well, it, it depends, because you can either oh, give yeah. it to Arya to make oh, her yeah. better at what she does, or you can give it to somebody who has a bow and isn't good at shooting. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I need it, though. Everyone looks at me. Yeah. But, you know, we do also have two other archers. You do. You could, sp sure. you could spread the love a little. Sort of underpowered. Um... Yes. Uh, do you want to identify the wand as well? Uh, yeah. Whoever picked it up. Well, anybody can do it because you've got infinite time. That's true. I'm not good at Arcana, so I probably. Okay. Uh, <laughs> v, you look this over and you identify this as a wand of the War Mage, which I will tell you what that does what? momentarily. Wand of the War Mage. Uh, oh, it's a Wand of the War Mage plus one, um, which is uh, requires attunement by a spellcaster. Uh, I think you have to be able to use wands as your focus to be able to use this. Um, requires attunement by a spellcaster. Well, you do you use your component pouch. Uh, but whilst you are a focus, though. It it's fundamentally the same as a focus. Yeah, it fills the same purpose. Um, yes, but it's not a focus. Uh, while you are holding this wand, you gain a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls, and in addition, you ignore half cover when you make a spell attack. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Uh, so, I think... I'm not sure if V can make use of that. I th yeah. Uh, I know Vondal can't, but I know Zael can, and I know Lysatus can. Yeah, because I use different things for focus. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what is in the list of Sorcerer Foci. I think the Sorcerer is just the same, just isn't it? Same as um, Wizard, I think. Yeah, yeah so you can you can, can use ones. it, yes. You could use the one for Warmage. I think I'll just hmm. give it to Zael or Lysathus. Okay. I'll give it to Lysathus since Zael broke the other one. <laughs> It wasn't his fault. It was just a very, very <laughs> low chance. That cool. Uh, you give the wand of the war mage yeah. to Lysatos. I'll add that to her inventory. Okay, so she actually... I can now go into her sheet and I can make her... Uh... And imagine if Grim were here, looking at all of this gold. Yep. Right. <laughs> God, Grim, Grim would have jumped in one of the chests by now. Somewhere in the distance. He has that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> we've just found a lot of gold. Yeah, S somewhere in a completely different plane, a small head looks up and goes, "Loot." <laughs> <laughs> so, this Sounds been, about like, right. Could you imagine if this had been like Diablo and like we had blown the head off of the statue? Yeah, just bring, 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 Global magic, global magic attack modifier. One. Uh, yeah, just green lights all over the floor. But yes. Uh, so yeah, you find two magic items and a literal shitload of gold. How much? Okay, how much gold did we get again? Uh, in cash, one thousand seven hundred. Okay. Uh, so how uh, so let me hold on. Like another like five hundred. Holy fuck! Yeah, guys, we don't need this much money. We're already pretty low. <laughs> right, it's four hundred and twenty-five gold each. If you want to do it that way. Okay. Sweet. Uh, there is also assor assorted gems worth five hundred. If someone wants to note that down, and uh, two paintings I mean, worth two fifty each. Are Are we gonna give anything to our friends? <laughs> 
I'm just saying, it's 1,700 gold. So that means 400 for everyone, including... No, no, it doesn't mean including our friends. So it'd be like 200 no, for everyone, including our friends. So if we all take 225 and give 200 to everyone else, that's nice and fair. I'm like, I, I mean, I'm all for just ignoring the <laughs> non player characters, but I think they're kind of bad. Yeah, let's not ignore yeah. them. I mean, characters. the non the non player characters aren't terribly fussed about the gold. Like, Zale is there, like, holy shit, that's a lot of gold. The Satis is like, I don't really give a shit about gold. Just offering. Don't want to be greedy. I mean, Zale exists on a teacher's salary, so... Yeah, he needs that 200 gold, shit! I'm gonna give 200 gold to Zale. Okay. And I'll only take 225. Okay. What about Illyran and Simone? Yeah. Just buy them a wedding present, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> if we get a fucking no, wedding! No, all the uh, aside, right, no, everyone else puts aside 200, and that gives us 600 gold for the wedding. We can, we can pay for that. That will be an extravagant wedding. Holy shit. <laughs> to be fair, it is from all of us at that point, so. Yeah. Uh, that sounds. Look, it's literally, it's I mean, literally a excessive. prince's wedding. You went you yeah, went to the wedding in Hatch's Cross, and that probably cost around 75 gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, guess I mean, the clothes probably take... cost a bit more, but... Well, that's true. Okay, I guess for now we'll just take the gold. We can worry about Rob... it when we get home. Safe and, and sound. Yeah. When Rob finally gives me the wedding I deserve. <laughs> okay, so... Is it the wedding you need or the wedding you deserve? That's Vondal cool. splits think... his share of the gold with Zale, but everyone else can take theirs. I was going to say, I think if we make it out, I think it does become the wedding that... We yeah, we deserve, because you put me yeah. through a lot of shit in this plane. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because Von, Vondal, like, as far as money goes, Vondal's like, I, I do kind of need it to survive, so I'll take a bit. Yeah. He likes the pretty things, so that's kind of it. <laughs> He's just like, ooh, that's so shiny. Probably comparing, like, what the different coins look like. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, uh... Like, uh, minting that you just don't recognize. Um, Is this like the you, equivalent of finding like a load of pennies from 1940? I mean, you can, you can... Those of you who are old can make me history checks. <laughs> so me and I. You and I, yeah, yeah. Aha! I'm kind of good at history. Yeah, like you, from your, like from your understanding of things and just looking at the dating on some of the coins, uh, like these must be from like different eras, different kingdoms. It's uh, like, uh, they they spread back over like uh, hundreds of years and hundreds of different places. Um, Aya, you can, you recognize a few of them a little bit more specifically, like there's, there is like, uh, there's like elven coins amongst this, there's human coin denominations, there's some coins that you've never seen before that are the same sort of weight as the coins, but instead of being cut into like circles or squares, they are cut into like strange hexagons with holes punched out of the center. Um, they're still like valuable, like the same valuable to the same degree as like a regular gold coin, but like you've just you've never seen a coin like this before. Like you have no idea where this would come from. They're like the coins from Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're very Chinese style in their sort of like design. God. What next? Are we gonna find uh, like? Are we gonna find a moment where we're all confused that there's just a regular bear? You jokes suck. <laughs> right. So, with that done, what do you do? I guess you go back to the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, cool. Did we find the security lift? Oh wait, yes. Sorry. Uh, that's the thing I forgot to describe to you. <laughs> uh, B and Aya, as you are clearing away the rubble from the statue from the top of the plinth. 
Uh, you notice that the top of the plinth can be lifted away. Okay, can we do that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, I believe only Arya can actually test for this. So, Arya, give me a test. Well, actually, technically what? V can test for this, but... But the chance is extremely Yeah, I, I, uh, check, make me a... I guess you can make it an athletics check. Yeah, that's... Uh, that is not enough. Five on that bullshit. That is not enough. I will do it, hold on. <laughs> okay, Oh my no. god, you got better than me. This is <laughs> I, I, if you'd have succeeded with that, that would have been amazing. But no. <laughs> You yeah. do not succeed. No. So are... Lift yeah, with the knees, the Rogar, not the with the back. Tell the strong <laughs> person. Tell the person with 20 strength where this is. Help! Help! What up? Can you lift this for us? The room. Can I lift it? Flex those big no, dragon it's, it's arms. It, no, it's, it's under no, the statue. I'm just kidding, I walked away from it. It's the statue, you walked <laughs> away from kidding. it because I and V aren't positioned properly. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to be looking at this. Athletics. Athletics, yeah. Fucking <laughs> That's <laughs> not <laughs> not good enough, I'm afraid. You struggle <laughs> with it. Oh, can we all eight. like, like yeah, do it at the same can time? Can I help Kalaris? Can I help Kalaris? Sure, Kalaris roll again. This is ridiculous, okay. guys. We need to get our shit together. Okay, I'm advancing guys, this time. So... What? Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> enough because you heard Vondal helped you. Oh right. Advantage. 22. With Vondal lifting the other edge, you eventually manage to push this thing open. This this thing weighs an absolute ton. It dawns on you that whoever... The previous occupants, if they ever wanted to access this, they probably would have had the statue do it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> probably. Well, uh, and we couldn't... We, that wasn't an option. No, it wasn't. You smashed the statue to pieces. But yeah, you put you push the system aside, and uh, inside is a small fragment of uh, like a a strange, uh, uh, not quite like sapphire coloured, more like uh, I don't know how I'd describe it. Uh, a light blue coloured crystal is essentially nestled between. Um, uh, two metal contact points, and a large amount of electricity is flowing through the crystal between the two contact points. Hmm. So I guess we have to remove the crystal. What have you put to the that? I don't know. Make me an arcana check. Uh, you su you suspect that removing the crystal will break whatever magic circuit is is running here. Uh, with a fourteen, though, I will also tell you that uh, there is likely to be a discharge of lightning when you do this. Okay, lovely. Well. Do you do you share that, Vondal? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, stand back. Oh, okay. Okay, you're doing it. I've got resistance, so it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world for me, okay, hopefully. Right. Hey, if something goes wrong, please make sure I don't die from this. Clara's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prepares to stick a spoon in the mains outlet. No. <laughs> no. Like, like just use the sword. The handle's not gonna be made of metal, it won't conduct electricity. Actually, sword handles usually are made of metal. Well, yeah, quick, use my hammer, because the, the haft of that is made of wood. There, it's, use anything. it's usually just wrapped in leather. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it wouldn't be much use if another iron sword hit your um, hilt and just cut right through. <laughs> that's not <laughs> it's like, the opposite that's, 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 that's a good point, though. Is Clara's wearing <laughs> gloves that aren't made of metal? Uh, Clarice is currently wearing scale gauntlets, I believe. Okay, that's metal. I'll take off my gauntlets. Yeah, you can take your gauntlets off. Yeah. That's fine. 
probably. It's probably with your bad hand. I <laughs> just punch the crystal out of the thing. <laughs> I was gonna try and hook it out with a hammer, because the haft of that is a wood, and wood does not conduct electricity. All right, well, hand me your hammer then. I have the hammer. Thanks. Just dislodge it with the hammer. Sweet. And you guys move back just in case. <laughs> yeah. Twenty seconds. Back away from like from potentially lightning you death. Okay. So how are you how are you removing this? Or are you just destroying? I kind of don't want to destroy it just because but can I is it something that you could just like push out of the way? in any shape, or is there no space that it could move out of where it's connected? Um... It'll be difficult to do right. with the hammer, but you can try. Do we want the crystal, guys? I, I ask. I'd, I don't see a point in one more crystal. We've already found quite a few. Well, uh, it, it's also not it's not like it's fantastically valuable, it's just acting as a conductor. It, it's right. probably some sort of saline deposit. No, oh, fair enough. Alright, fuck it, I'll smash it then. Okay. Smash it. Uh, what is your minimum damage? Mm, seven, I think? Uh, yeah, okay, then this is destroyed, regardless of what you roll. Okay. Um, uh, make me a dex check. Dex check or save? Uh, save. Okay. Is that mm. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> the sparking electricity jolts actually off the metal head of the hammer up towards you. Uh, you would normally take four lightning damage, but oh. you only take two because of your resistance. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah. You're, you're, it scorches your scales a little, but you're alright. Uh... Well. And as that happens, um, you hear like uh, a, a series of strange rumblings roll through the walls of the keep. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you're, you're not you're not sure what it did. It sounded like mechanisms, but that was about it. Oh well, there, well, there were iron bars, so. There were iron bars blocking your way out, your way out of the both the front doors and the main gate. Right. So that's probably hopefully yeah. them retracting. Mm. Let us go. Okay. Let me go. You head back to the lobby. You find back. that indeed the the doors are now unbarred. Uh Simone and Elleran who you left behind are waiting on the ground floor. And uh, as you regroup, they basically turn and say to you, so, what's the plan? Uh, as far as we can tell, all of the security systems are disabled, so any of the doors that were previously barred are now no longer barred. Which includes one door on the second floor, the doors to the basement, the doors outside, and the main gate. We want to go in the... Wasn't there something in the main gate we wanted? That we wanted to have to go in. The way out. Oh, yeah, well, they That's that, the way onwards. <laughs> there you go. Let's leave then. Do we yeah. want to check that one room on the second floor before we leave? No. Okay. I just want to. Uh, if that's the case, I will. Up. I want to call to Milston unless he's in one of the paintings nearby already. Uh, as you turn to the nearby painting, uh, you notice something. Oh. The painting that previously housed uh, Melson, all of the colour has drained out of it and has run out of the frame and is now running down the wall. Yeah, because... Wait, we didn't destroy the skull, did we? We still got it. No, we haven't destroyed it yet. We just have it. Nope. That's still, still happens. Oh, okay. Uh... You remember him saying he did have quarters on the first floor. Okay, maybe we should go there. Yeah. Uh, right. I I well I I would drag you to it, but I'll, I'll save the time because yeah, you you basically you go through the door that you were previously going to go through, but didn't. Uh, it, you enter into like a small smoking room with two 
like red velvet chairs uh, with a door in the back that you pass through and enter into another room with a table and a, a, a small table and a bed. Uh, in there is a small candle that uh, seems to be like it, it's burning, but like it um, uh, on, upon closer, closer examination, the candle is just a like a uh, it's a manifestation of some sort of magic, and it's actually just a light cantrip. Uh, and in that room is a uh, is a very very old uh, painting of um, uh, basically it's it's a painting of a wine cellar, uh, and in it a uh, a very rough and weary looking Milson is there. Uh, the moment you arrive in the room, he's like uh, he he turns to you and says, "You have it quickly! Destroy it! Destroy it!" Can you tell me exactly what this will do when we destroy it? Uh, he he looks at you and says, uh, "All I know is um, uh, it's the the skull is what houses my spirit. If you destroy it, then uh, I should be able to go free, and I should be free of this damnable painting." You must hurry, though. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but the magic that holds these paintings together is weakening. Okay, that was going to be my next question, is what the fuck was up with the painting outside? Okay, <laughs> okay. But well, in that case, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's break this. From, from your deduction, removing it from the statue destroyed the network of paintings that linked uh. together the house, so it was gradually collapsing. Warhammer skull. Alright, yeah, okay. let's smash it. See which one go. Cool. Uh, you smash the skull, and as you do so, uh, the painting figure of uh, Milson explodes into a cloud of butterflies. Oh. 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 That's kind of... I wasn't expecting that. Pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, pleasant. what is not adorable is the <laughs> cold wind that whips through the room extinguishing the light cantrip. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's, that's good. Still, butterflies. That was weirdly pleasant. Let's leave. Yeah. Okay. Let's carry on. You sort of you you adjust yourselves to like the darkness or light up your lights uh, and leave the room as the painting of the wine cellar very slowly begins to melt. Uh, so yes, you leave the keep. And with that, we'll take a short break so I can get something to drink. Huzzah! Huzzah! Mm.